This is Cyrus from Mississippi. Cyrus from Mississippi. What's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to call. Um, I've been listening for like five or six years or something and tell you that um, I really look up to you all. You're like a heroes or whatever because I think living in Mississippi, it's uh, kind of alienating. Like I don't want to disparage my community members or anything, but people are um, not very educated about like history. Unfortunately, you cover the history of my state a lot. Um, you, you know, people are very, very ignorant. So um, sometimes you, you feel like you're uh, really wrong because just everybody is so, like a lot of my neighbors, coworkers, just very right, right wing. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of the things that they have to say about the world, um, I encountered like a month ago, like listening to you talk about it when, uh, you know, like I can, because I listen to this program so much, like, um, they're like, oh yeah, that's what Ben Shapiro was saying about the subject or Tucker Carlson or something. And, you know, I've like encountered all these ideas before. And, uh, anyways, my point is just to say, like, you know, when you're talking about preaching in the choir, um, you know, I think it's really helpful sometimes just to have someone to listen to that even my local news is not going to tell me, you know, anything that you guys are talking about really. A lot of the time. Well, appreciate uh, appreciate that. Yeah, I I imagine it's uh, it, it's got to be living in a community surrounded by um, uh, right wingers has got to be exhausting on some level. Yeah, and just you know, I feel like everyone, I'm included in this, but everyone thinks that they are super right and have all the answers. But then, like when people really open up about you know, the right wing ideas was like, Oh, like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I've, I've heard this before and it's, uh, it, it's been debunked to me. And like, and I, I come up with things on my own, but a lot of stuff from your show. Just, is it you know, helpful it in these conversations? What'd you say? Is it helpful in these conversations? Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to get into debates with people all the time, but it's just that like, you know, I, I try to be open-minded, like maybe conservative people are right about this or that subject. But when, you know, people really delve into it. Um, I'm like, oh, like I've already heard, like this is like surface level, like, um, you know, uh, I don't know, just a lot, of, a lot of times it's not really much deeper to it than like the weird wacky things that you hear, you know, some right winger say on your show. Hmm. And I'll, I'll hear it and be like, oh, that's crazy. Like, that's, that's really silly. You know, some kind of conspiracy theory or take your pick, but I'll be like, man, that's really silly. And then, I'll go about my day and realize that like, Oh, this is like what my neighbor actually thinks is true. And like my coworkers and whoever, um, that's what their know. job is to convince those people marching orders. Yep. It's scary. Hang in there, man. Yeah. I'm actually, I just started working in journalism recently. So, uh, Oh, I nice. Important with that, but oh, um, okay. that's why I said like you guys are, I look up to you. I appreciate the call. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I share a story real quick? If, um, I don't know if we got time. Uh, yeah. Uh, how quick? Uh, just a, just a quick news story, um, because I haven't heard it covered. Um, and it's Mississippi local. Uh, sure. Just uh, really quick. Oh yeah, there was just a conviction today with uh, six police officers that um, uh, it's not accused. They've been convicted of uh, breaking in to someone's house without a warrant and uh, two men uh, torturing them for an hour and a half. Um, the, there was like sexual torture involving like sexual instruments, and um, they also at the end uh, shot somebody in the mouth. Like they put the gun inside of the mouth and then shot that person. Um, two black men, and the six officers that were charged, um, they found that there were at least two deaths of civilians that have been connected to them before. That they were not prosecuted before because it might not have been as as insane as this case. But um, they really like, they call themselves the Goon Squad. So they're kind of like a group. And, uh, yeah, it's just something that seems to have been happening actually for uh, many years. So it's just now coming to light because this case is so crazy. It's like the worst police brutality incident I've ever heard of, really. Wow. Uh, we'll take a look at it. Appreciate so, it. For you. Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. Appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate the call. Gee, yeah, I'm looking at this now. That is really disturbing. Well, the cop gang, it looks like. Yeah. I mean, that this is like some, some – they're – a lot of these guys, <laughs> they're high school bullies and they love the f feeling of power and then you give them an inch and they'll take it.